What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and it's hard to believe WWDC is coming in a little less than three weeks, which means we will be getting Mac OS 15 pretty soon. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what I want inside of Mac OS 15. Alright, so the first thing has to do with widgets. We got these last year, and I think they could be further improved on. So what if we got the ability to do accessory small rectangular widgets on the desktop, so we could have half the size of widgets, which would be rectangular, and circular widgets, which would be right here. If we could fit that many widgets on the desktop, it would look really nice, I think. And also along with desktop widgets, what if we got smart stack? And then we should be able to do this, and this should be a smart stack. I just think that would be make up my desktop look a lot nicer, so I'll have a lot more things I can look at. And I could just scroll through since I wanted a countdown widget smart stack, but unfortunately we do not have that. And if we just scroll through, that would be a really nice feature inside of Mac OS 15. Alright, so the next thing has to do with the lock screen. So I can't show you what the lock screen looks like right now, but it did get redesigned in Mac OS 14. What if Apple added to the lock screen with widgets? So we would get the same exact widgets on iOS and iPad OS on Mac OS. So the accessory small, the text widgets, and the accessory large widgets. I think that would look really nice on the lock screen. I mean, under the time and stuff. Maybe they could do it on the sidebar like they did with iPadOS 17. But just having the widgets option would look really nice, especially when you're using your screensaver and you would just know information right away. In fact, Windows kind of has widgets like right here now. So I think Apple needs to copy that or just do what they did over here and put them on the side for iPadOS. All right, so the next thing I want is a better right-click menu. So right now there's no way to create a new file unless you go into the app that you want to create a file in. So let's say I want to create a pages document. I would need to go into the app and click new document. What if instead, what we could do is right click, there's a new option, new file, you hover over it, and then you could just click on the file that you want. So if you want pages, keynotes, numbers, maybe a text edit document would be in there, and third party documents should be in there as well. For example, Microsoft Word can use an API, and to keep it not cluttered, maybe there's a thing in system settings where you can customize what apps are in there, so there's just not a whole mess in there. And speaking of right click menus, I think this should be redesigned a little bit. So maybe there's just a plus button up here and then maybe an I button and then it would just be normal, kind of like what Windows has. And we kind of did get this with the Messages app. Let me show you what it looks like real fast. So inside of Messages, we got this thing. This is called a palette menu. So I think it looks really nice here. We just get more of these palette menus throughout Mac OS. And yeah, I just really like that Apple really did this here. And I know for sure it's available in Mac OS. So why can't Apple just do it? They added this technology with Mac OS 14, why not further build upon it in 15? All right, so the next thing we should get is a Translate app. So currently I have to go to Google Translate and sometimes I don't trust them with data. And overall it just looks really mid. Apple has done a really good job last year with the Apple Translate app on iOS and iPadOS. So why not finally bring that over to Mac OS? It would make a lot of sense. They could Catalyst or Swift UI, whatever they use to make it. And I would just be really happy if they brought the Translate app to the Mac. All right, so the next thing I want is better animation. So the first animation is a window opening animation. You can see it just pops right up. It does no animation. It doesn't even do a zoom in animation or slight zoom in animation. And also, what if we got navigation animation? So these are all Swift UI navigation links. When I click, Something does not happen. It does not do a sliding effect. Inside of Mac OS 15, you would just do a navigation animation. It also just looks really weird with settings on Mac OS. Trying to copy the iOS settings app, but not having these animations here. I think Apple should really focus on animations instead of Mac OS 15. Also, when you're closing the app, you should do a slight zoom fade out animation. And at least our minimize animation is good. We should really should get some better animations inside of Mac OS 15. In fact, inside the App Store, if I were to go right here and scroll down a bit, if I click here, there is a navigation animation right here. And even when I click on an app right here, there's a navigation animation. So I think we should really get navigation animations and closing animations and opening animations. All right, so the next thing has to do with the color picker. So if I were to click on select color right here, you could see this is what we get. In fact, this has not changed ever. It's been the same inside of Next Step when Mac OS was Next Step, and it's the exact same thing. The only difference here is that Apple has added their own colors in here, 
and all these are the exact same all these are the exact same all these are the exact same. maybe not some of these are the same but like this color picker UI is the exact same as it's always been and it kind of seems intimidating to some people so why not just bring over the iOS color picker I think I would look really nice with the iOS color picker so I think that's a much better color picker that is one thing people will probably like to see come from iOS to macOS all right, so the next thing has to do with memory inside of macOS Sonoma. So I did a test comparing macOS 11, 12, 13, and 14, and when we went to the memory test, macOS Sonoma used the most. And especially since Apple insists on selling 8GB RAM MacBooks in 2024, I really think Apple should really optimize macOS 15's memory just so it's not bad. That's basically what I want, better RAM management inside of macOS 15 since it was really good in Mac OS 12 and 13, but 14, I guess something that they change makes it use a lot more memory now. All right, so the next thing has to do with the Finder app. The Finder app is kind of old and sketchy a little bit, kind of. It's based off of AppKit nowadays, but what if they Swift UI the Finder app? I'm saying Apple should rewrite the Finder app's UI. For example, a lot of the stuff is hidden inside of here. Stuff that makes sense should be hidden. For example, to hold option, I have to manually turn on stuff in here. For example, the path bar, that should be enabled by default. And also new tabs should be enabled by default. You, we've had new tabs for a while, but they're kind of hidden. You have to click this plus button once and then you finally have it. So I think Apple should add a plus button up here by default if they don't want to redesign it. Also navigation animations once again, that would look really nice if Apple can just have us click and it just slides over like that. I think that would look really nice if Apple did that. The Finder app is a nice looking app, it's just not easy to use, kind of. All right, so the next thing has to do with iCloud. On iOS and iPadOS, we have iCloud backups. But recently, if I were to go to my Apple ID right here, then go to my iCloud storage, and then if I go to my account storage right here, and change my storage plan, you're gonna see that we have a 12 terabyte option what would we use 12 terabytes for in cloud storage? And I was thinking, what if we could back up our Macs with iCloud instead of doing it with Time Machine, which is what I currently do. So if we could back up with iCloud, I think that would be really nice. Maybe we'd have versions in there. And since Apple really wants to rebrand Apple IDs to Apple accounts, which is what rumors are saying, then I think we should be able to have our Apple account save our iCloud. All right, so the next thing, this was in my macOS 14 wishlist video, but it never came out. We have this volume thing right here, but it's only one thing at a time. We cannot adjust anything else in here, so why not have a per app basis as well? We have general volume, and then if you add an app, you can customize that app's volume. We should totally get something like that inside of macOS 15. It would just make our lives a lot easier, so I could just mute one app if I wanted to, and not have to mute the entire thing or dig through settings inside that app. That would just make my life a lot easier. All right, so the next thing, it's similar to a feature that we have right now. But on iOS, I use folders in this right here in the dock. Yes, you can add folders right here, but why can't we just add them right here? I definitely add folders in the dock myself and instead of just going into Launchpad and doing folders in here as well, or put them right here, we should really get them right here as well. And it's just the app icons as well, instead of just a folder icon like we, when we put it right here. I know we can customize that, but it's a little bit tricky too for the average user. So why not just have folders in the dock right here? All right, so the next feature is a popular feature request. Why don't we have window snapping? We have these basic buttons and that is it. Why can't we just put our window right here and then it just snaps half of it and then ask what window we wanna open if we want one or just do that and it does a corner, or that if we do a corner, that if we do a corner. Why don't we have that inside of macOS? We should totally get something like that in macOS. The only way to do it right now is to tile it to the right of the screen. But yeah, it's really annoying that we don't have that yet. Hopefully we get that pretty soon. All right, so the next thing I want are these to be redesigned. It's really weird that I really want the volume and brightness to be redesigned. And sometimes this gets in the way a lot. I don't know why Apple has not did this. Especially why do they not do it with macOS Catalina when, when they redesigned it in iOS 13. So why not just put it on the side right here like they do in iOS or on the top. I think it will make more sense on the top if, when I think about it more. 
Yeah, this gets in the way a lot, especially when I'm typing but need to change my volume on my AirPods. I just lose a couple of seconds of working time just because of this annoying volume indicator that Apple has not changed ever. Now, the last thing I say is a quick way to delete apps. So I think there should be a sandbox environment inside of macOS 15 for every single app. So if I want to delete Terminal, for example, it would erase all the stuff that has done as well. macOS would keep track of, of what files that has modified. And perhaps when deleting it, you could delete it from here as well. Since you can only delete App Store apps from the launchpad. For example, this is an App Store app, this is an App Store app. All these are built-in apps, so you can't really delete them. But if I go to here, SF Symbols is an app downloaded from the web. So why can't we just quickly delete those, maybe delete the data as well? I think if Apple could add those X's right here, it would make a lot of people really happy. But yeah, that's my wish list for Mac OS 15. It's hard to believe WWDC is 17 days away. Yeah, I'll be live streaming my reaction to WWDC. Who knows, I'll be really happy in that reaction if some of these features do come out. And thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.